All right. By now, you probably should know my name, but I'm just gonna say it again. Hey guys, Crystal here from Indie Hip Chick, and welcome back to the IC Costume Series. <laughs> um, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a Beetlejuice inspired costume look. And actually, this one was inspired by not only Pinterest, but one of my favorite YouTubers, Jackie Ina, she did a Beetlejuice look. I don't know if it was last year or like, maybe two or three years ago. I don't know, she has a lot of videos and I watch every single one of them. Also, if you haven't checked out her vlogs, you should. I'm a vlog person, like I love watching vlogs. So I've been watching Jackie and Dennis, or J Dennis and Jackie, whatever it's called. I've been watching their vlogs and I just, <laughs> I love them. Um, but yeah, so today I am doing a Beetlejuice inspired look and if you are interested in seeing how I achieve this look, just keep watching. Start off by applying Skin Prep Pro all over your face, avoiding your eye and mouth area. Allow Skin Prep Pro to dry. Once dry, apply your favorite face and eye primers. For this video, I'm using Cover FX Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment and Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance. Next, fill in your brows. I'm using the Benefits Precisely My Brow Pencil in the color 6. Once you have your brows filled in, take a foundation that's 2-3 to three shades lighter than you and apply it all over your face, neck, and any other areas that won't be covered. I'm using AJ Crimson's Artist Kit Foundation in 1.5. Once you have that all blended out, go in with a light concealer or a lighter foundation and highlight under your eyes, your forehead, and chin. Once again, I'm using AJ Crimson's Artist Kit Foundation, but this time I'm using number one. If you would like to try AJ Crimson's foundation, they do offer a sample kit with all the foundation shades he has available. Now take some translucent powder and set all the areas that you highlighted as well as the rest of your face. For this, I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Now let's move into the eyes. For this look, I'm using a combination of Morphe's 35B palette and their Jaclyn Hill palette. With a fluffy brush, apply a light pinkish purple shade above your crease and under your eyes. This will be your transition shade. Next, take the deeper purple in the 35B palette and put that into your crease and onto your lid. Pack the color on, then with the same fluffy brush from earlier, buff out any harsh lines. Take a small pencil brush and apply that purple under your eyes as well. Once you have that purple nice and buffed out, take a flat brush and apply the purple from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Apply that purple until you have it as deep as you want. Don't forget to buff out the edges. Now take the black from that palette and apply it along your lash line and your outer V. Blend it out with a fluffy brush. If you need to, go back in with the fluffy brush and reapply the first purpley pink color to the outside parts of your shadow. Now take a combination of the first and second purple and contour your nose. Now we're going to go in with our beauty sponge and apply some green Mayron Paradise paint around the perimeter of your face. When you're done with the green, take a smaller sponge and apply the black from the palette over the green. Now here's the fun part. Take a combination of the brush included in the Mayron Paradise Paint Palette and your beauty sponges and blend out the green and black. And you're done. All right, well that's all for this video and Ooh, I'm actually kind of ready to be done, uh, at least until next Halloween. But yeah, if you are enjoying this series or enjoying these videos, as always, give us a thumbs up. Like, we really appreciate it when you give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel, you know, it's just a suggestion. Please do those two things. And then as always, we appreciate the comments, the feedback, and the suggestions right down in the comment section below. So go ahead and do that for us. Um, and yeah. I'm trying to think of what else I need to tell you guys before I signed off of this video. Oh, remember those suggestions for costumes? Put those down there. February's not that far away. I need to get started. So put those down in the comment section. But yeah. Other than that, that is all I have for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.